Let's look at them in a bit more detail. Pars. The soft pars, as a general rule, is always done. There are ways to reduce soft pars, but as a general rule, every time a statement hits the database, it has a soft pars. The soft pars, syntax semantics permissions. What does that thing actually mean? What is EMP? Is it a table? Is it a view? Is it a synonym? I don't know. Go to the data dictionary and find out. Star. What are the columns that make up that table? If it is a table, I don't know. Go to the data dictionary and find out. Do I have permission to see that data? Don't know. Go to the data dictionary and find out. So the soft pars, what does the statement actually mean? Having done that, we search the library cache of the shared pool to see if the statement is there already. And if it is, we can proceed straight to the next phase, which is execute. If it is not, we have to do the hard pars. That's the slow bit. The first time you execute a statement, soft pars followed by hard pars. How are we going to run that code? There may be many ways to execute a particular statement. There may be many ways. Most basic decisions. Select star from emp, where emp no equals 7369. Right. How could we have run that? Two basic choices. We could do a full table scan, look at every row, and pick out the row or rows for that employee number. Or we could use an index and go direct access to the row we want. Well, it's not that simple. Is there even an index on that column? I don't know. Go to the data dictionary and find out. If there is an index, would it be quicker to use the index, search one object, and then go to the table to retrieve the row from a different object? Would that be quicker than just scanning the table? I don't know. Oracle has to work it out. And the hard pass optimizes the statement. And that is very, very slow. A simple query like that might require 20, 30 queries against the data dictionary before you can actually run it. And that is why Oracle caches parsed code for re-execution. And that's a vital part of SQL tuning. Make sure your code can be reused. Parse once, execute many times.